So welcome ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a quick video today because we have launched and are launching right now the Euro 2024 update over on eFootball Universe. If you are a member, you can log in, you can download and you can go and install it on your console. So this is basically for PS4, PS5 users, um, not for the P. I mean, you can technically use this on PC, but... Look, folks, there's plenty of other places that you can get a proper Euro PC file. This ultimately is for you PS4, PS5 users where there isn't really anyone else updating this game as of now because it's technically old. Um, but we're trying to keep it up to date. So all the teams have been updated, right? 24 of them. We've got accurate player details and kit markings and colors. Uh, I believe it's the third and the fourth kit that you guys can go in there and use uh, for whatever national teams you would like. Fully updated squads as well, obviously. They've come out with the full official squads themselves and we've updated them accordingly. Uh, accurate squad numbers, uh, as well as reworked stats and play styles of 200 plus players. Uh, In-depth tactics and fluid formations for the big teams as well. Uh, attacking, defending and advanced instructions for teams. Uh, and we also have some hero cards for each squad. And what those are is pretty much beefed up players. For instance, Cristiano Ronaldo had a really good season. So we've given him a little bit more of a boosty, boosty, juicy card uh, in case you want to use that version of him as well. And it just adds a little bit extra to, you know, the content that we give you guys. Now, there are two ways that you can play this. You can do it through this, which is custom competition, where you're just literally going to go down, put the correct teams, right? 24 teams, but you're going to have to manually go through and pretty much put all the teams that are in the Euros I mean, it's up to you, really. If you want to do the full Euro competition with the actual groups, then go in there and do that. If you want to actually do your own kind of hybrid mix, there's the option for that as well. So, yeah, you pretty much just go through here, update all the groups, and then you will have the competition. Now, the advantages of doing this is you are going to have the logos, example, for the Euro, right? There is also the Euro 2022 mode in PES 21. Now, unfortunately... It's PES um, 21, so it's the older version of the Euro 2020s. But you are going to get more of the authentic Euros, but it's just not going to say 2024, and obviously it's not going to be in Germany, etc. It's going to say Euro 2022, or Euro 2020, should I say. But it's a lot easier to do, and um, like I said, you're going to have more of the authentic presentation. So yeah, two versions for you. But here it is, the group stages that have all been sorted correctly. And then you go from there, right? Play with the teams that you want to play with. Let me know if you want to see a playthrough. I probably am going to try and stream this, to be fair, um, because I kind of want to, and, it, and I think it would just be a lot better. So there it is. As you can see, you've got the Euro 2024 logo. Obviously, it's not going to have the backgrounds, etc., folks, because as I said, this isn't the competition Euro 2020, it is just a custom competition. Now, here is the example of actually going through the 2020 version. It's going to be a little bit more authentic, as I keep mentioning, and it'll be a lot quicker for you to go through and pick the teams. They're all there, so you can actually do it this way as well. It's really up to you. Um, so yeah, if you're not that fussed about a logo in the top left-hand corner, then this might be a better way to play the game. But if you want real authenticity, then yeah, go through the custom competition options and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to quickly just scroll through this. This was actually made by Barry himself. Um, so he has a more in-depth version, but there it is. You can see France, Austria, uh, etc. will all be there for you. We don't have any gameplay to show, but I've got a couple of screenshots at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, just going through here, as you can see, the quality is fantastic. The kits are all there. I just think this is it's something different. I generally do enjoy playing like the World Cup and the Euro competitions because they're short, they're sweet, and honestly, they don't happen very often, do they? So, yeah, I think we will do a playthrough. Definitely England. I mean, you know, the likes of Portugal with Ronaldo. It's going to be Ronaldo's last Euro, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, the kits look absolutely quality. We've made sure they've gone in there, the boys. The lads have done fantastic work, as always. Um, and yeah, it's all there for you guys to play. So go check it out. If you are a member, go download it on PS4 and PS5. If you aren't a member, you can sign up. And uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, as you guys know, try and keep this game alive as much as we can because there is no Master League still in eFootball. 
and you can't edit anything. So PES 21 really is the only way to get a proper authentic playthrough, I feel, currently at this time. So I'm going to let the video finish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, check it out. Go download it now, boys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.